Join me on the fourth annual homecoming and pilgrimage to Sierra Leone on December 28, 2021 through January 9, 2022. We will be exploring this beautiful country and eligible individuals will be receiving Sierra Leonean citizenship and passports. For more details, check out our website, sierraleonepilgrimage.com or subscribe to our YouTube channel, Go Ham Lifestyle Vlogs. Because we all need an Africa escape plan. Hello fam, welcome back to the African Diaspora News Channel. I am Ongil Zalalem bringing you the story. Today's story comes from Ghana. A reverend is under fire for kissing, actually force kissing students for appreciation or something like that. Watch the clip, we'll come back and discuss. So that clip was taken from St. Monica's College. Um, actually, it was a student that sneaked and filmed that um, and posted it on the internet. After that, it went viral. Uh, the Anglican Church had to come out and, you know, say that they don't condone this. They are investigating this reverend and they are going to take action. This was really shocking to watch because these are students. These are impressionable young students. And as you saw, the congregation, they were screaming and some looked excited because they're children. This is a school we're talking about. And the guy was kissing the students in the name of con appreciating them or congratulating them because those girls were leading a Bible study of some sort. And I guess as a thank you, he wanted to give them a holy kiss. How ridiculous is that? If you've noticed, the last um, teenager didn't even want to be kissed. She was hesitant. She even gave him her cheek. And he f you can see it. He forced himself on her. Let me just show you. As you saw, he did that and how incredibly insulting is that and to the whole religion, to the people, to the church, to everyone that is involved for this father, as they would call him reverend, to feel comfortable enough to do that in front of people. What else is he doing behind the doors? Seriously, I don't want to speculate, but he had the audacity to do that, to force girls, students kiss them on their lips while people are watching and shouting you know if it wasn't for those students that filmed while sneaking by the way the school is looking for this uh students that filmed and posted it i don't know what they want to do with them they probably want to suspend them or something but that's not the right thing to do and that's not you know where your energy should be you your energy should be investigating this reverend, seeing how deep this goes. Is it just about these kids? Because the people that filmed uh, this video, they claim that he's never done this before and this is his first time. So let's assume this is his first time. What else is going on behind the scenes for him to feel comfortable enough to do this in front of the congregation, in front of people that are there to hear about their God, how incredibly insulting it is. This man needs to be investigated. We really need to know what's behind the kiss because we don't even know. They just said he wanted to congratulate them on something. And the person that filmed this video actually mentioned that the third girl felt so bad and she was resistant because she was a virgin and she didn't feel comfortable. Who knows? For all we know, maybe that's even her first kiss. How unfair is that? Who gave him the right to do this? So all these things are, are not answered. Um, 
as I told you, the Anglican Church said that they are going to investigate and, you know, they are going to let us know and do what needs to be done, I guess, to this reverend. So we will update you if anything new comes up. But anyways, guys, let us know down below what your thoughts are about this holy kiss from the reverend. I am Wengil Zalal. I'm bringing you the story. I will see you on the next one. Bye. Make the most of your organic gardening experience with the world's first self-growing planter. All you do is add soil, seeds, or plants and walk away for the rest of the year. Our planters will germinate your seeds and grow your plants. Torpedo Pot's microbial organic growing process is designed to give plants incredible texture, refreshing scent, beautiful colors, and delightful flavors. Torpedo Pot is fully automated and uses over 95% less water to grow a lot more nutritious food. Check out our website, www.torpedopot.com and order yours today. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and download the African Diaspora News Channel app, now available on Google Play and the Apple App Store. Thank you.